This is Jaxi from Jaxi of All Trades on CR4, presenting on how to make a 555 timer with a speaker. Before launching yourself into any circuit building project, it is a good idea to familiarize yourself with the components and the schematic. All of the dark circles on the schematic represent nodes, which is just a fancy name for making a connection between two or more wires. There are two connections that should be connected directly to power. This is pin 8 and pin 4. They're both connected directly to power. Four connections should be connected to ground. Pin 1 is connected directly to ground. Pin 2 or pin 6 are connected to ground through the 0.1 microfarad capacitor. And since pin 2 and pin 6 are electrically connected, it does not matter which pin connects to the capacitor to ground. Pin 5, as you can see, is connected to nothing. In this circuit, we're making a 555 timer circuit with a speaker, so you can hear the frequency being emitted. The first step is to make sure that you insert the pin correctly, making sure it's going across this little chasm there. The next thing I'm going to do is connect ground from pin 1 and make sure that this bus is always staying ground and also pin 8 goes to power making this bus the power one and also pin 4 has to go to power. Note that I make a wire go leap over this little chasm right there and straight over to power. The next part that I'm going to do is connect the ones that are indirectly connected to power and ground. In this case, the 0.1 microfarad is indirectly connected to ground through pin 2. That's it for the indirect connections. The next thing I'm going to do is hook up my LED. I'm going to need a 330 ohm, which is orange, orange, brown. I connect it to pin 3 and just jump it over to somewhere down here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have this LED and I'm going to need to connect one side to power and one side to the resistor. I make sure the flat side goes toward the resistor and since pin 4 is connected to power, I can just connect it to pin 4. Electronics, you can do that because it's a common node, which means that more than one connection is made there, and it just follows through like that. The next thing that I'm going to do is start connecting the speaker. I need this 10 microfarad capacitor, which is electrolytic, and make sure to plug one end into pin 3 and one end to anywhere on the board, making sure that the negative side goes away from pin 3. And I'm just going to connect this speaker. The speaker I got from an old boombox, nothing fancy, just something that will emit the frequency that I want and I connect it from the capacitor to ground. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is start to connect the left side which coincidentally is going to be on this side of the board. Now pin 6 and pin 7 are connected via a 5.1 kilo ohm resistor. So I'm just going to do that right now. And before I forget, I am going to connect pin 2 to pin 6 on the board. I should have done it before, but I totally forgot. If you want to go back and do it, before I ended up forgetting, that's fine, but it's just a little extra time is all it takes. 
and there you go. Pin two and pin six are now connected. And in the process, I removed my speaker. Okay. The next thing I'm going to want to do is to connect, connect the potentiometer. But I want to connect it somewhere up here, making sure that I use pin 6 and not pin 7 to connect it because pin 6 is connected to pin 7 through the resistor, it wouldn't be the same node. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to connect the potentiometer over here. And now I need to do the 1K from power to one of the pins on the ch on the potentiometer, so I'm going to do it up here. Okay, and for some reason the leads on the speaker are a little bent, so in order to make them properly go into the board, I straighten them using needle nose pliers. Hopefully that suffices. I have my battery. I'm going to connect red to this side and black to this side. Now I can already tell that my speaker is not working for me because it's not connected. And now all you want to do is spin the tension on this. And that's how you make a 5-5 timer with a speaker.